Hi, Aries. I am going to bring you your reading. So before I was setting up for the reading, I am apparently getting songs today. Um, and I have the song, I got the song for you, Easy. Um, so I'll make a link to that. Uh, easy like Sunday morning. I'll make a link to that in the description. Um, I also had a card flap out at me for your overall energy and it is in the hand. The, the universe is your partner. So I really feel like that's the case today um, with you. So with easy, um, I got images of uh, you guys really getting over a big project like a marathon or some kind of uh, time period where you were just going, 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 going. And of course, Aries love to go and go and go and go. Um, and I really feel like uh, regardless, the Aries uh, general archetype is regardless of the outcome of <laughs> whatever we're going after, we just really, um, are grateful for the experience of going through it. Um, so as an Aries son, <laughs> um, I resonate with that for you guys. So I really feel like you're going, uh, just got over a big venture of some kind. <laughs> and um, I don't know if this was like a physical adventure. You've got the uh, L key. You got the L key card of she who hopes, Renee, love, hope, and relationships. So for some people, this some areas out there, at least one areas out there, this will be a relationship um, that you just put a lot of time in and um, you're really feeling like that's settling in for you now, like that's settling in um, and kind of aligning with you. I think it was a lot of work that you put into something in the past. Could we get one more energy from the Elki for Aries, please? Um, but that's settling in for you. And she who prepares Zenith, formulate, strategize, devise. Um, and for anything else, I really feel like you go at everything um, that you do like all hands on deck I'm hearing like you put all your forces into something and then you just go towards it so um so that's nice now considering I pulled the the uh the song easy for you it really felt like now is a time where you're just like relaxing that's what have you back my my zen pond is a place where I need to relax um I really feel like you feel like you've gotten over a big hurdle in some way and that you know it's really time that you're gonna like loosen up the straightforward all the time effort not that you're gonna stop Aries will never stop Aries always had need something they're going towards um but the struggle the struggle that's been real is gonna get a little bit easier um, on the split, I got the five of swords and the two of swords. So you may have been confused in the past on what direction things were going to go. That could have made you a little Mars-like and argumentative and kind of just um, going a little AWOL on people around you, I'm hearing. Um, but that should get better. And I think the people around you also know that you're really going with the five of wands and the ten of pentacles towards you know the struggles that you're going through the lines that you're crossing are to build a brand new structure for you um to build a structure that you feel supported in to build a structure that's uniquely yours so that's beautiful i know that we've had jupiter in our sign which is great usually but we had mars there too and sometimes Aries are really good with the energy of Mars, but it can be a lot for other people to handle. Um, so I'm sorry, all the people that have put up with my energy. <laughs> and maybe you might want to apologize to your friends as well, Aries. We've been a little extra. Okay, and the Ten of Wands, and I'm just noticing that she's been carrying something on her back. Um, yeah, going through the passages, going through the hurdles. I'm literally seeing someone jumping hurdles. Um, 
<laughs> and I just heard spider webs, so maybe uh, you might want to listen to this right no doubt, I believe. Okay, and let's just get a story for Aries here. And the Skirts Guides, could, please, could I get an actual story on what is um, what is coming up for the Arians? Uh, we got uh, Seven of Cups in reverse and Death on the split. So I feel like you guys have let go of the confusion and are going through some kind of transformation. Okay, uh, I'm just going to get into whatever they want to talk to right now about you. Could I get two for the past, please? And two for the present. And two for the future, please. I'm actually doing this in my backyard, and I don't think I've read Tarot in my new backyard yet, so I'm a little nervous about the neighbors. I don't want to freak them out. Okay. All right, and so for the past situation, you have the Queen of Wands and the Moon. So yeah, really not knowing um, what was going to happen, but being strong and okay with that anyway, um, just kind of going forward with all of your passion and your inspiration and your might. Not that you don't want things to work out, of course you do. Um, but I really feel like you, this was something that you just needed to accomplish on your own. And that was a fulfillment in itself. Um, okay, that's good. All right. And for the present, um, for the present energies, uh, eight of cups in reverse, you haven't decided to actually leave something behind. Um, so I just feel like you're taking that big sigh of relief that it's like a moment of peace. Nine of pentacles, you're being comfortable in your own strength, in your own um, structures that you've built. Uh, you're not really concerned about what other people are doing as much as it might have been recently. Um, the world, you're ending in a cycle in that. I think you used to be a lot more... Um, concerned with what other people thought and if you accomplish things or not but you're not anymore and death which of course is um transformation i believe that's the transformation that the aries are having right now um is not caring so much about trying to fit into other people's structures or trying to check everybody else's boxes um and astrologically that's the exact right time for this so that's amazing to hear um and let's see the future energy we have the knight of wands and the seven of swords okay so you might have some people coming up um in the future that you know are coming in strong coming in um a little shady but also with the knight of wands you're going to be able to feel that and maneuver that energy i think this was a problem in the past for you um, I'm being told this card as well. Okay. So maybe this does concern like relationships or partnerships or anything like that, but you've really learned a lot of lessons and you're going to be able to, um, to feel what's right for you. Um, I'm just being told to remind you of the first energy card in the hand, the universe is your partner. So if there's any, ever a question about that, um, refer back to that. I'm also noting that it's number 31, which reduces to a four, which is your stability. Right now, your stability with Jupiter in the Aries house is literally um, seeking quiet and seeking the divine for answers. Now, Aries usually go for something without even really thinking. Um, it's like um, ready, fire, aim. But then again, we don't get crushed when things don't work out. It's all about, you know, going and trying and i just told somebody this and i'm not sure what sign it was that you'd rather have a recycling bin of oh wells than a brain full of what ifs and i think that kind of encompasses your energy this month so that's amazing aries I'm just gonna get a couple it's like short and sweet for you this month that's amazing I'm just going to get a couple more cards. Anything else? Angel Spirits Guides, please. Anything else for the Aries? Anything else that they need to know? What's coming up for them besides possible conflict, I guess? Uh, it, just, it didn't seem too heavy, though. It didn't feel heavy to me, so. All right. So you're going to have some justice when it comes to um, some kind of heartbreak or uh, 
disillusionment you've had in the past. I literally heard disillusionment. So any disillusionment, you're going to become clear on that. And I think we already talked about that for you. Um, yeah. And you're realizing that the power is in your own hands right now. You can change anything that you want to. It's just you deciding to change it. Oh, and we got a lot of them here. Okay. All right, and we have a couple of reverse, which is the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Um, you're, and we've already discussed how you're no longer looking for signs outside of yourself, which is the best thing to do. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles upright. You're working on um, what you're doing, the things that you've already kind of lit a fire under. You're going on and working diligently at that. Makes sense because your uh, your ruler Mars is currently in Taurus, which means you know person assistance like everyday stuff working on things every day at a slower pace though i think it got really amped up with jupiter um the three of wands um was in reverse as well no longer waiting for the ships to come in no longer waiting for the answers to come from other people um two of pentacles just balancing your life out doing what you want to do uh she's dancing with saturn in the background if there's one thing that saturn loves is persistence and balance so you're making Saturn happy. Um, and then we had the Ace of Wands, you know, still letting those fire, that fire of new, um, new ingenuity, new passions, new ideas burn, um, and going towards those uh, with the Knight of Swords being led by your guidance towards those things i feel like a really calming energy amazingly um for your reading this time which is not usually the energy so that's amazing okay and we got the six of cups and the king of cups in reverse um, on the bottom of the deck so that would tell me that you are just looking um, for people if it is a love situation, like surrounding yourself with people that really understand you, surrounding yourself with people that are like a more gentle love, not like a more fiery love, um, not really looking for anything outside yourself um, and trusting that it's going to come to you and that you no longer have to have all the answers. Okay, yeah. Um, the Empress, you know, waiting to receive and judgment. And that's the last one I'm going to take. Oh, I guess there's a Ten of Cups. You know, rising, rising the spirit, the uh, fire. The fire is actually, um, the sun is supposed to represent, um, well, first of all, the sun is exalted in Aries. It's the happiest place it could be because it does try new things. And, you know, spirit always wants us trying new things. When you're afraid of something, you don't get out the divine inspiration that you're being given and the ten of cups so you know i do think that you guys are just looking for your ultimate happiness <laughs> this is my favorite card in the deck that says the star the hermit like sitting and dreaming and allowing those things to come near you you might not be talking about them but aries has always got something in her brain going on and I think that that is actually all you guys need from me today. It's amazing that the Aries reading was the easiest reading to do. <laughs> that usually never happens. All right. Well, I will. Um, I hope this resonated with you. And if it did, get your energy in the mix and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to connect, you can go on my Facebook or Instagram. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can go to nerdistempath.com. Bye, Aries. Love you. I should just let you guys sit by my pond for a while and just like relax. Oh, love you guys.